so that is gonna blah, 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 blah. I just want to be by myself in my house you used to get a really itchy bum before you oh my god stop <laughs> <laughs> it's quite a big like career moment and it's quite a nerve wracking one the dream that's very dinky, I like it. Do you like it? Yeah. Okay, I came out and he was like, what have you bought? And I was like, I bought something for you. Good morning. This tripod, I wish you could see it. I actually just need to sort my life out. I have so many tripods and I don't use them. and I don't know why. I think actually now I know why. It's because when you have a tripod, you have to like change the attachments. And I've got like a tall tripod. And I've also got like little ones and you have to change the attachments and it also means you can't get the battery in and out and memory card. And something as little as that stops me from using a tripod because you have to like unscrew it, put it back on and change it, etc, etc. Anyway, aside from that, you're going to be wibbly wobbling everywhere. It is Friday morning. Today, I said to myself I would have a day off. In reality, what's happened <laughs> is I have um, gone to the gym and done a bit of food shopping and come back and had a shower and it's 10 o'clock. So I thought I would have a day off and then I thought I'd have a half day and now it's kind of looking like I have wasted my morning and now I'm probably gonna have to work for the rest of the day. <laughs> but um, I do need to uh, clean because our, our house is just like, Upside down a little bit. Alex is going to be helping. Um, he might be doing a lot of it actually Because our kitchen uh, the worktops came off yesterday and We need to remove all the stuff out from underneath the the kitchen cupboards Bit of a kind of a mess because I didn't really realize the kitchen worktops were coming off. So there's dust everywhere and Anyway, that's happened and Alex is gonna get everything out and I just needed a bit of a tidy up around the house. I really wanted to do some gardening, but it's kind of that misty, rainy weather that I would rather do anything than be outside right now. So I'm not going to garden. I'm going to tidy up and then I'm gonna go and do some work and try and get everything done as quickly as possible. I'm just using this ultraviolet SPF 50 plus lean screen mineral mattifying fragrance free sunscreen. I love this stuff. It's a tinted uh, sunscreen and I use it as my foundation. It is 10 out of 10, amazing, and I'm gonna buy it again. I will buy it again. I also have their like serum sunscreen. Um, so I'll sometimes, if it's sunny, if it's like a sunny day, I'll wear that underneath just because I don't necessarily, I worry about whether this is covering enough of my face. Um, I mean, I just put two pumps, but if I was to be doing their like serum stuff underneath it, I probably wouldn't, use two pumps of this but it's yeah there's no sunshine today but still good to use SPF. I am also preparing because this Sunday you will have seen I am releasing my sunglasses with Parler which is extremely exciting but also quite nerve-wracking and I have to finish editing off all the content for Sunday so we've got a video going live on Sunday which I'll link up here you probably have already watched it and also there's a reel that we filmed yesterday, which I need to edit. And then I just need to send off some, some of the stuff just to Parlor, just to show them just before it all goes live and just bits like that. It's just sort of like all the finishing bits to make sure everything goes smoothly. And I know that everything's like organized, but I have been organized. So lots, basically the idea was that all the, all the content and everything was sorted, oh my gosh, uh, before the week of it pre-launching and launching, which makes my life easier because then I don't get worried the week it's happening and I have time to do whatever I need to do in between. So yeah, we've shot all the sort of photos and I've scheduled lots of posts and yeah, it's just sort of finishing stuff off. So I'll try and be as productive as I can. Um, recently I've been really trying to sort of well, I've been thinking about trying to optimize my productivity better because I find if I go into my office and sit there from nine till five, um, I waste a lot of my time. Um, I sit there and maybe I will, I, fi I find myself getting very easily distracted. So I'll go on my phone to, I don't know, for example, look at my analytics on Instagram or look at my insights or 
um, go and find a post that I need to find for a brand or there's like various things I would need to do work-wise or um, go on there to post some stories for a brand or just chat to you because I haven't chatted all day and I go on there and I completely forget what it is that I was supposed to be doing on there and then I end up watching people's stories and next thing I, I know I've spent 15 minutes on Instagram. 15 minutes which I could have spent doing the task that I went there to do and then I could have switched off Instagram and got on with something else. And I'm finding myself doing that more often and I think partly it's to do with um, my brain being quite distracted because of all the renovation stuff. Because it really, I've said this before and I know lots of you relate to this, that when my home is, oh by the way I'll tell you what I'm using, this is the Inaka Organic perfection concealer and this is the bare minerals mineral veil powder um yeah when i'm when the house is like not how it usually is especially the kitchen because it's so vital to just day-to-day -day activities because obviously you have to have breakfast lunch dinner any water you need it's just so it's the heart of the home so when it's not accessible and um you can't really use it then it i don't know my brain just doesn't, my brain just does not work i've experienced this in our old home I don't work the same, I'm not, I don't function the same when our, we're having renovations done, for whatever reason that might be. So yeah, I get more distracted and I find the kind of, maybe it's the type of person I am because I am self-employed, I don't find the kind of sitting at my desk nine to five thing works for me. So I need to remember that and kind of shake things up a bit each day and I need to maybe time block and specifically decide I am doing this task now and I'm not doing anything else this is the task that I'm doing and I think that might help me so starting from next week I'm going to try and give that a go where I like will set a task for for example for the next hour and just do that task oh, actually I, maybe I could try that today I started doing this a little bit I think I mentioned it on on here at one point I listened to the book Tiny Habits or no, I'll put on screen what the book was because I've completely forgotten. No, I actually can just look on my phone. So it was, oh, Essentialism. Essentialism, and he talked about a done for the day list. And I stopped doing that, so I really want to pick that up again. I kind of stopped doing it because everything got busy. But um, a done for the day, day list is very important and um, I think it will help my productivity. Nice bit of face mist. This is... Um, from Skin Proud, Refreshing Face Mist. Pretty cute. Um, I'm not really gonna do like loads of makeup today, but if I can't be bothered, but I still want to look nice, then I just do my skin makeup really lightly. And then I do my eyebrows. I just don't wear mascara because I find mascara is the part that um, I find annoying taking off in the evening. Whereas if I don't have mascara, I find it like, ah, oh, I can just, wash my face and don't have to worry. There's no trades people here today, which is kind of nice so that we can not feel like, well, actually, no, I lie. There is actually the Tyler's coming, but he's coming later, like in the evening. So there's no one here in the daytime, which is kind of nice. And it means we can not have to think about stuff happening. I do like stuff happening, but sometimes you can feel a bit like my house. I just want to be by myself in my house and So there we go, just curl my eyelashes and I just leave it like that on a day like today. And that's as simple as it's gonna get today. Bit of lip gloss. I really like this lip gloss. This is from Bare Minerals in Zen, but I like this color because it reminds me of the sort of lip glosses I would have worn when I was younger. Like, you know, before you were really allowed to wear makeup, you would have worn like a kind of glossy, nice sort of pink lip, lip gloss. And then that would be you kind of like, done um what was i saying you can tell that i'm kind of all over the place not because i'm stressed because i'm actually not i'm actually really excited um it's because i am kind of nervous i've never released a product with a brand before i've never released a product full stop i've only ever done like ebooks and i suppose it's just like nerve-wracking thinking about how it will be received like whether people will like it i'm sure you will because they're really really cool and i'm 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 very proud of them. It's also like when a brand reaches out to you to work with you um, and thinks of you, you obviously want to make them happy and you want it to be a success. So it's quite a big like career moment and it's quite a nerve wracking one because 
I wonder how, I just don't know, it's just unpredictable, I just don't know how it will go, so I'm just like, oh, well, like, will it be a success, will we be happy, will people enjoy it, will it work with my audience, and not that that's what it's about, but inevitably you're going to think those things, um, and there's only way of finding out. I mean, I'm pretty proud, so I think at the end of the day, none of that really matters, because I'm really proud, I really enjoyed the process of making the sunglasses, and it was so much fun and this is just typical Maddie little worries and anxieties that I have just about general things it's pretty normal so I'm sure anyone who's ever done anything like this would feel the same it's the same I suppose I felt this way when I released my ebooks but I suppose the onus was on me because it was just by myself so I was like well if nobody buys the ebook then no one will know and I just at least I tried <laughs> But I suppose because it's like, I suppose I just don't want to let other people down. I don't want to let Parlour, I don't want them to regret doing it with me. You know what I mean? I'm probably being too honest about this. Oh well. I'm sure, um, I, I don't know, I, I always want to be honest and then I have this voice in my head that says, oh no, don't say that, you can't say that. And then I'm like, why? Because I know lots of people in their careers will have similar things where they work on a project and they collaborate with somebody or work with somebody and you know it's, it's quite a big thing and you want to make the other person proud or the other business or company or however you're collaborating with someone else you want to make them proud and not be let down by like working with you and it's a lot of pressure because I work with brands all the time on videos but that's so much more relaxed because it's kind of like a set amount of deliverables and you sort of make your video or you make your Instagram post and maybe there's some changes but it's is so much more low key than actually designing and releasing something. I suppose that's why I feel this way, but I actually kind of like this feeling too. It's quite exciting. It's like, makes me a bit scared, but also makes me kind of excited at the prospect. And I think that I should remember right now in this moment to feel proud of myself for doing it and not worry too much about the rest of it or the outcome, because that doesn't really matter. It's the fact that I've done this with the brand and I really enjoyed the process and I really loved designing it and making all the imagery and it was just like, it, that's a fun enough and exciting and cool enough experience to begin with to not worry about the rest. But anyway, if you wanna get them and pre-order them, they are available now for pre-order. Madeline 15 gets you 15% off and then when they launch on the 1st of September, they will be full price. So if you wanna get them before they launch, they're really limited edition. So um, they will, once they sell out, that's it. Go check them out. If you haven't seen them, I'll leave the link to them below and then you can go see what they look like. And I've got loads of photos all over my Instagram. I would get them for you, but they're downstairs. Maybe I'll show them to you. You've probably seen them. Uh, <laughs> you've probably already seen them. Anyway, I'm gonna go and start like doing a bit of a tidy and then I'm gonna go into the office. Oh, look. I just sprayed that all over my shirt. Oh dear. This is also not just water, this is water and conditioner, like leave-in conditioner. If any of you are wondering, lots of you have been asking questions about my hair recently. Nothing has really changed. Well, maybe. The I have a hair routine on my Instagram, on my reels. Go check that out, because that's what I do with my hair right now. Um, but yeah, nothing's really changed. I think people are just asking me about my hair because it's long now. So when my hair gets longer, people are like, oh my gosh, your hair looks different, what's happened? And it's just that it's longer. My like curl pattern changes. It doesn't, it's not as curly when it's long, it's more wavy. When it's a bit shorter, it goes a bit more curly. I have a few more ringlets when it's shorter, but it goes a bit more like mermaidy, wavy when it's long, which is kind of nice, but yeah, not much has changed. But this is literally just water and leave-in conditioner, I just mix it together in that little spray bottle and then at pretty much every day, unless I'm tying my hair up, um, or unless it's like the second day where my hair looks nice still, I wet it like that and then it dries within maybe like half an hour because it's really not that wet and then I just give it a little bit of a scrunch. It kind of reactivates the, um, reactivates the product in your hair, like the gel and the stuff you put in your hair to style it with. Uh, so it sort of does that job again. It's like a little mini wash. I guess it's called a refresh. That's literally what it's called. So I'm gonna go downstairs and do some tidying and then this weekend, I think that I'm not gonna do a lot of painting, but I'm gonna do a little bit of painting. We did speak to a decorator. I think I spoke about this on Instagram because 
the amount of work when it comes to painting in that room became too much for my head. And I was thinking about it and I was like, I had to continue painting all these cupboards still. They still need like one or two more coats. I have to do all the doors. I have to do the actual doors to the kitchen, like the wood doors that you open to enter the kitchen and all the woodworks, all the skirting boards and all the frames around the doors. And then also the kitchen, all the kitchen cupboards and also the ceilings and also all the walls. And the ceilings and the walls will need lots of sanding and filling and prep work. And I think that if Alex and I were to do it, it would probably take us like, I think it would end up taking us like a month because we would have to fit it around work. And I just would imagine it just going on and on. Whereas if we hired somebody to do it, they would be, they said it would take, we spoke to someone, they said it'd take about a week or two weeks, just depending, it's hard to, cause all the cupboards aren't built yet. So it's like, it's hard for me to say until like everything's like finished, but um, it would take like one to two weeks for him to do that. Um, and if he's doing that every day, <laughs> yeah, just imagine how long it would take me and Alex, non-professionals, to do that just when we have the time. Um, and that's a nice, that's a decision when it comes to renovating that you have to make sometimes. Like, I think one of you guys actually spurred me on because you were just talking about if you're paying someone to do a job, but you can actually do work in that time and earn money working, then sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes it's actually worthwhile paying somebody to do it, especially if there are lots of jobs overlapping and things are taking a bit longer. And like, I gave it my best, I tried, I got, you know, I did it as as well as I could. And hopefully other rooms I can, you know, we can, Alex and I can get involved and do some painting and do some DIY with. But I think because the kitchen is so disruptive, I just, we just need it done. It's, it's stopping me from making like food videos and yeah. I'm excited that I've actually taken that plunge because that's one of those things that I find difficult. I think I've said this, like, if I know I can do something, then I'll do it rather than pay somebody. And it's realizing actually sometimes it's more worthwhile just saying, it's okay, you can actually just pay someone to do this job, even if you are able to, because is it gonna make you tired and affect your physical health, your mental health, your time, your work, everything, which it is, because it's like becoming too much. Um, sometimes if I can do something, if I'm able to do it, so for example, the painting, if I can do it, then I put it on myself to do it. When in reality, at this age, um, if you're running a business or if you're working hard, you're busy, sometimes getting someone else to help you is not something you should be ashamed of or something you should feel bad about or you should think, oh, I should save that money or do this and it's, it, Sometimes it just means you're actually just stretching yourself too thin. Like the last four weeks I've been painting every weekend, pretty much. And often in the evenings, you've seen, obviously I've done lots of, done lots of DIY and it's a lot. And then when you're working and then your, your house is turned upside down, sometimes you have to just go, well, actually, I, if I hired someone to do this, they'd get it done quicker. Yes, it would cost me money, but it means I can spend more time working, um, recouping that money back and not feeling physically and mentally like exhausted by it. <laughs> so that's the decision we've made and hopefully they have time in September to do it. Obviously it's quite a last minute thing and everyone is really booked up. But he said that because he lives really close to us and the weather's looking iffy, some of the jobs which are like outdoor jobs, he might not be able to do so he can fit us in uh, maybe a week when it's like raining or not very good weather. So fingers crossed and then it all can be done. Anyway, I really need to get on. I did like this little chat with you, but let's get on with the day. Also, side note, Huel has been a lifesaver during this renovation. Um, I mentioned this on Instagram. I don't think I've shared, have I shared Huel on here? I probably mentioned it offhand, but I have been having this whenever I can't get into my kitchen. Like right now, there's no way I could make a proper breakfast. Well, I could make it in the office, but the office also, I just, I got home from the gym and this is a lifesaver. It's completely nutritionally complete, completely nutritionally complete. It's a nutritionally complete meal. Tastes like salted caramel deliciousness. Like it tastes like melted ice cream to be honest. It's delicious and I can whip it up. I really like the taste of it. It's like a smoothie that's already been made for you. And yeah, very, very convenient. I just blend it with ice. And basically it's like, I think it's like 400 calories for two scoops. And then you mean you've got a meal in rather than sometimes in these instances, I would have just like gone hungry or skipped breakfast or been like stressing and thinking, what can I eat or, you know, grabbing anything. So this is great. Love it. Could you show me how to do the time lapse? Okay. 
Alex just put all of our new toilet rolls away. Bazoo sent us some tree-free bamboo toilet roll, um, which I just absolutely love all the packages. It's all really colorful. Look at this. So thank you to Bazoo for sending that. And use code Madeline5 to get five pounds off your first subscription order. So there you go if you want to get some more eco-friendly toilet roll. I just think they're so cool, aren't they? Yeah, said it was carbon negative. Carbon negative, yeah. Amazing, amazing stuff. And I find since buying like bamboo toilet rolls, we, I think the ones before this, we had who gives a crap, we've been buying those for like, how long? A while. A while. A few years. A few years. You used to get a really itchy bum before you. Oh my God, stop. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, it lasts way longer than regular toilet paper. I find, and what we do is we buy it in bulk with our family, so we like uh, buy, I think you get it cheaper if you buy it in bulk. Um, so yeah, go check out Bazoo and you get a little discount. Good afternoon. I've been on my computer all day editing, editing Sunday's vlog, <laughs> editing the reel, which turned out so good. Go watch it on my Instagram, I'm so excited with how it turned out. Big props to my sister, she came up with the idea and also filmed it, so yeah, that was really, really... Oh, it just turned out so well. What are you looking at? You saw the nice wood burner in the last mm. video. We're gonna light it. I wanna light it this weekend. Give it a try. Yeah. You opened it. Nope. Oh. I think he did a he um did, he burn? did a test burn. Ah. Yeah, to see how it works. But we have the tiles officially finished and done. And they just look like they've always been there, don't they? Because they just match so well to the Arga. So he grouted them. We had to get him back because there was one of them that had a chip in it. But he was very nice about it and came straight back and fixed it. So crisis averted. And yeah, when the work tops in, it will finish off all really nicely. But I'm very, very happy with those tiles. Are you happy with them, Alex? Yep. They just don't... It's the sort of thing I wanted them to not be a noticeable thing. They just don't look like they just look like they've always been there. They feel it feels like it goes a lot wider. Yeah, it does. I don't know why. No, it really does. It feels like I feel like it looks more prominent I now. Didn't like the the pattern before or the colour. No, it was Even too it's yellow. Not, it's not much of a different colour, but it's nicer. And I like that it's a bit, you know, because the back of the wall's not that flat, so it's kind of uneven. Well, not uneven, but it's like a bit of character. Yeah, exactly. An old wonky walled house. It matches the stone. Yeah. And I was, yeah, I think I've said I was thinking of doing pattern and I'm really glad I didn't because I think that's just going to last so much longer and not, not date or anything. Still got the worktops off. Still got a disastrous mess everywhere. But our hob did r arrive. Should I show them the hob? Yeah. Do you want to lift off the thing? Right. So the hob arrived and also... I ordered the right size of vase from Garden Trading. I got um, some vases from them and I accidentally ordered them in like extra large. And when I say they're the biggest vases I've ever seen, they were like absolutely ginormous. So I got the right size because we don't have enough vases. But this is still massive and this is the medium. But I'm very happy with that. Here is our beautiful induction hob. It's a Neff one to match our oven. And this will sit just on the top here. So it will kind of look similar. It will look like it matches the oven and it will sit there when we've got a nice white worktop and look all gorgeous. I wanted the one that, so if you have a massive pan and a smaller pan, you're not like, what's the word? Oh, I see. You're not so it stuck kind of... to using it where they've just outlined a ring. It oh, kind of does, clever. the whole thing can heat up. That's very clever. So yeah. we didn't go for a big full one because this island we use quite a lot for chopping and yeah cooking i think two, yeah i think two is generally enough and then we'll have the argo like half the year and if we're really stuck we can just have the little portable guy yeah like the argo has like when when it's on we use it loads yes and so this is just like a summer hob <coughs> slash when we need extra <laughs> space very occasionally you need like three pans that doesn't happen often or Sometimes I struggle with making rice on the Arga, so I probably will make rice on this more often. Or if yeah. you're just, I don't know, it will be useful for sure. Um, and it, but it won't take up space. 
because we yeah. already use this little Tefal one. Tefal? Tefal. I think it's Tefal. Tefal. We already use this little Tefal one, um, which we'll put in the office, which will be really useful yeah. so that if we're in there, you know, you can cook something in there if you wanted to, or if we have people to stay. Like or I have. If you're just hungry in bed. Because <laughs> I have considered the office, like if um, you had someone to stay, I think we should replace that uh, sofa with a more comfortable sofa bed. It's so not big enough. It's not big when enough. It turns into a sofa bed, but it's like a three quarter one. Yeah. Because we tried sleeping on it once and it was a challenge. Yeah, it's too small. It's yeah. more like a single bed, really. Yes. But if you've got a proper sofa bed in there, then um, if like family stayed, they could stay in there and have their own space and they could just mm -hmm. ignore all the computer stuff, but they could at least have a bed and a kitchen and a toilet and I don't know, or like if a couple mm. came to stay, I mean, I don't know. Or if you had multiple people at the house, it means there yeah. would be another space for people to be yeah. and then there's like a kitchen. Mm -hmm. um, who knows if that scenario will ever happen, but <laughs> it's nice to have the option. And Alex and I, well Alex actually, I'm knackered for the day, but Alex mm -hmm. is gonna carry on emptying the kitchen out a bit and putting some stuff away. And we'll do that this weekend as well. And I might do one coat of green paint on the inside of this because this will have some wine racks a wine rack going in it and that will be done before the painter gets here so i think that'll be useful to do that first but other than that i think i might do some gardening if the weather improves because our garden is looking a sorry state and the wisteria is covering up a lot of the windows yeah the windows are happening on the 31st of august yay i rang them the other day they're like yeah we're still it's on track all coming everything's coming yeah. I feel like we'd never have days without people around at the house. No, I'm very tired. Very excited for Sunday though, for my sunglasses to come out. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh. We should go somewhere nice tomorrow and I'll wear them and show you because I've not shown you in this video. Yeah. So I think we should go for a nice walk. Go for a nice pub lunch. Yeah. Actually, that would be really nice. Yeah? Yeah. Why don't we just drive to the pub? What do you mean? Just go to the pub. Now? Don't need to walk. Why would we walk? Go to the pub. I'm so confused. Is it because I said we should go on for a nice walk? Yeah. <laughs> sometimes just cut, cut out the walk. Sometimes your jokes just go right over my head. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Where are we? Hot tub. We're in the hot tub. I shared this in the other vlog, Alex putting it up together. We're in this morning. I've not actually been in the daytime yet, but last night we were supposed to go in and then I fell asleep at like 9 pm, didn't I? Mm -hmm. So it didn't happen last night, but. I've got food in my teeth, always. So we're in it this morning. Alex is holding my cup of tea. You're drinking it? Mm -hmm. <gasps> Look how great this is. The dream. If any of you have wanted a hot tub, definitely have a look at these. How much was it? I mean, we got it on cash back. Alex. How much did we buy this for? 390. 390 pounds. Dory and dues. how do you do cash back if other people want to know how to do that? Because I don't know how to do that. You go on the cashback website. And what you when is it when you order stuff you go through the cashback website? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So like when we did the internet for here, you got I guess it's like an incentive for, for I don't know, some sort of commission thing. I don't know. So you when we set up the internet, you go through the link and as a bonus for signing up with BT over another company, you get hundred and forty ish pounds back because we set up internet and sport or something like that. Ah. So yeah, this was a free hot tub and I have dreamed one day of getting hot tub. I'd love for me do our extension and sort out that whole thing to get a hot tub, like a proper one. And I, my dream is to get one that um, would be entirely run on our solar panels. So it would be completely mm -hmm. self-sufficient and wouldn't be, because yeah. it uses a lot of energy to heat a tub, obviously. Yeah, I think we just need to work it out because I think that the solar panels generate more energy than we use at this Yeah, house. they do. So we just need to figure that out. Yeah. And then when we have the Arga as well, it will yeah. mean that, oh, it'd just be so cool. Well, if we had an electric Arga, that'd probably push it over the top, <laughs> the energy, but. Yeah, but then also if you use extra energy, we would still be using renewables yeah. with octopus energy. Well, I guess the thing with electric Argas is that you don't have to leave it on all the time. Oh yeah, you can switch it on and off easier, can't you? Yeah, I think that's the bonus of it. Yeah. Whereas in oil Arga, it takes like, you don't have to, you, at least half a day to cool down and heat up again. And you have to get like someone to come out to do it. Yeah, you don't need to service an electric one like you do. Yeah, electric one, you can switch it on and off kind of much easier. Like yeah. if you had it off in the summer, then 
you could choose to switch on for the day if you knew you had like people coming over and want to cook a lot of food yeah. or something. Because it's expensive to, what's the word, change it to an electric kit, but you save a lot in energy and servicing costs every year. So yeah. That's a bonus. And also you're not using oil. Yes, that's, that's the main motivation. I, I just want our house to be more like eco-friendly and energy efficient. Like when the windows are in, we get the Argo changed to electric. Yes. Because it's a um, bigger house to heat. Yeah. So we can use the radiators like limited amounts. Mm -hmm. I've got my Organic Basics swimsuit on. It is my favorite swimsuit at the minute because it's like, feels like a wetsuit. So the material, when you go in the water, it's crazy. It's so thick. It feels like you have a wetsuit on where your swimsuit is and I just find it very comfortable and flattering. Um, I'll leave it linked below. I think I have a discount code for Organic Basics, so I'll leave that as well. What? You want to see the bubbles? Yeah, turn the bubbles on. Splash everywhere. But now we started talking about Argos when we were talking about this hot tub. Solar panels? Oh yeah. Oh my god, it's so nice. <laughs> I forgot my vlog camera, but we have come to Port Levin and there is the shipyard market here. And there's also a cute little bagel place next door. And there's a cute little vegetarian cafe, so we're gonna get some food and have a look at the art. It did pour with rain a second ago, but um, I think I'm gonna get a Buddha bowl from Radish Vegetarian Cafe and maybe a brownie. and a brownie. Mm -mm. The sun's come out. I know I said I would show you the sunglasses in this video. Here they are. Haven't taken them off. <laughs> really adorable top on from Sea Salt. They send it to me because they've started to do this embroidery service. So as far as I'm aware, if you want one of your tops embroidered, um, you can go into the Sea Salt store and choose like a symbol. And I chose a heart and I picked out their just classic striped long sleeve top and got a little heart embroidered on it. And I just think it's adorable. Screaming. 
Alex is killing me because of the tripod I've just created, but I want to show you what I've got from the shelf. <laughs> so first, are you taking a photo of it? Yeah. I'll put a photo of what tripod I'm using right now. This is not of any interest to you, Alex. This is all from Albatross Gallery Porth 11. I think this piece in particular was from Oh, I don't remember. Maybe it says it on, oh, it'll say it on the inside. So I've got a lovely, beautiful jug. Uh, Casafina since 1981. Here we go. If I find this online, I'll link it. Casafina. I think it said it was, was it from Portugal? Somewhere. Um, as producers, we commit ourselves daily to protect the environment, avoiding unnecessary harm through the resources we use and products we manufacture. And I saw this jug and I just thought it was absolutely stunning. It's got these tiny little, almost like slightly floral indents. And I just thought, how beautiful is that as a jug? I'm just a sucker for ceramic stuff. I just, I love it so much. And this I had, Alex, look, this is for you. So I already got, I've already got these, but in a larger size. And these are the espresso versions. So I've already, I've already got mugs um, like this. Sorry, we're bending down the tripod's crap. But I've already got a mug like this. Is it over here? Oh yeah, look. Yeah. Is it the same company? Yeah, so it's Natalie Bonnie Ceramics. I've already got this one. Um, and this one, and now we've got the little new one. So I've got two of them, because we bought some espresso mugs a while ago, and they one of them is broken, isn't it? And these are kind of a little bit bigger, because Alex, often with the espresso mugs we already have, it will fill right to the top, and it's like, teetering Sometimes on the edge. There must be a word for that. Yes, yeah, so it's a bit like, too... Like corto. It's not an espresso, but it's not a coffee. It's... Yeah, and that's what Alex tends to drink, so I thought these are perfect, because they're big enough. That's very dinky. I like it. Do you like it? Yeah. I came out and he was like, what have you bought? And I was like, I got something for you. And then I also got a little pot, also from Natalie Bonnie Ceramics. I also got a little... Um, jug where I get a little tiny little vase. I'm kind of in the on the hunt for just like kitchen bits that I can put on the shelves. This was just so so beautiful I thought if there are ever any flowers in the garden that look really pretty I can just take one or two and pop them in here and put them on the table or on the shelf. So that's my little shop from Port Leaven and now we're gonna have a cup of tea I think with some of these lovely um, cakes. Oh that's what I also bought. I also bought some Origin coffee. So this is Cornish brand, um, B Corp certification. And I got the Tegu from Kenya and the La Subia from Guatemala, the decaf, because I only drink decaf, but Alex drinks normal coffee. And I've had Origin coffee a few times. It's really, really, really good. So topped up on the coffee and we've got some dog treats and they have a website. So this is um, Bone Appetite Muddy Paws, Muddy Paws Cornwall, eco-friendly, natural, grain-free, and the website is www.muddypawscornwall.co.uk. So they do loads of natural dog treats, and I got some peanut butter flavor reward coins, some roasty bites. These are vegan ones. These are different roast vegetable flavors. These are going to be great for walks with Roxy. And then I got some white fish cookies, sustainably sourced fish, and some salmon co cookies, also sustainably sourced, because Roxy is not a vegan dog or a vegetarian dog. Oh, they smell really strong. Um, but when I do get her food, Alex and I always try and get, we always do get organic or sustainably sourced um, dog food, because, yeah, that's the best. And then I got these, I think these are little veggie little tree horns, not tree horns, deer horns. That's our little loot for the doggies. Good morning. It is mission sort this kitchen out. Renovating and decorating is just a 
process of moving stuff from room to room whilst stuff happens. So we are moving everything off of this dresser upstairs, anything we don't use regularly, so we can put our food on here um, because it's just slowly just billowing out because we're running out of space for things. Uh, and the, we're like cooking in the office and then also cooking in here. The worktops come on Wednesday, so we've just got a few more days. But on Monday, they are doing the fireplace in the living room, so then we lose the living room as well. So I need to empty the living room too of all the stuff. So that's what's going to happen today. It's going to be just emptying everything out, moving them into different rooms. And I might paint this bit here. So I'm going to get on with this, but I've made progress so far. And maybe the cupboards as well. I'll see how I get on. I also forgot to mention we've got my sister and brother-in-law staying with us at the minute. So there's even more stuff than usual, like food-wise. So we need to make room. It's like always the worst timing, isn't it? When your like, house is being turned upside down. It's just, it always happens this way, that's life. But it's kind of a fun adventure. We're just figuring it out as we go. But we definitely need the more room for everything. I can't talk this morning. My brain, I'm like not functioning. But yeah, I've got all this stuff up here because we went shopping yesterday just so we were fully stocked. And we're going to move it over because... Anthony is going to box in these pipes next week so we actually need to take these shelves down and I, I think I don't know I might do that myself just to remove them so that that can be a project to paint them sand them down and paint them um, or I could get the decorator to do that we can put them back up but I also need to um, remove all these hooks and fill the holes because I'm going to get different ones probably like antique brass ones um, these ones I actually don't mind because they're kind of like a a metally colour so I'm, I might leave these but these ones definitely need to be changed hello oh, of course there's someone mowing the lawn I have just showered we're heading out now we're going for Sunday lunch I just did a load of clearing in the kitchen I can put my sunnies on and um we're going to head out because the sunshine has come back to the UK and we've got a week of sun, which makes me so excited. I feel so much better. I was getting like really overwhelmed again by the mess everywhere and just there are a few issues with the tiles and there's been just quite a few incidences of like people who've done the work we're having to get them back to solve problems that haven't been done properly and it can get you down when you think a job's finished and then you look and you're like oh wait <laughs> it's not finished we need to get them back um so that was getting me down and like this week we've got a lot more stuff happening so it's like when's the end <laughs> but yeah it's it's fine i'm feeling so much better after putting some makeup on and doing my hair always boosts my mood and hopefully this lunch is going to be delicious very sorry about the strimming in the background <laughs> We just got back from a delicious meal. Um, where was the place called? Henley's. Henley's. They had a really nice vegan brownie for pudding and we had a roast. And now it's like 45 minutes until, oh, that's very bright. 45 minutes until my sunglasses officially launch. And I'm really scared, but really excited. So I'm gonna sit with a glass of wine, twiddling my thumbs until I hit post. <laughs> ah. 